viewers welcome to this video very quickly I will be showing you how to, I'll be showing you how to configure an um, IP version 6 address that is an IP v6 address okay um, I have this PC which is called T1 and I have uh, another PC on this same um, network which is called um, PC1 uh, so right now I'm going to we go over to my network icon here I would open the network and sharing center and go ahead for go ahead to the Ethernet right here go for properties I'm going to give it an IPv6 address okay of um, FD00 column 1 that is my first address of this particular IPv6 um, addresses it's going to be taken 64 um, bit out of the 128 um, as the, the subnet prefix I don't have a default gateway so the DNS would be FD001 as well so we call on column 1 why because this is going to be my DNS server as well okay that is this server but basically if you're just doing um, if you're just communicating or trying to connect to more PCs you can basically just give an IP address you don't have to worry about the DNS now I'll go over to but if you're on domain network of course you always have to give the DNS so that's my DNS I'll go for OK and then I'll go for OK here as well and then move close that is how um, me giving the IP to this PC so I'll move over to the move over to the next PC and also give it an IP as well all right guys this is the second PC so I'm going to right click on this go over to the networking sharing center click on my Ethernet right here so you go for properties and then you go over to go for properties and then select the IP internet protocol version 6 and then I'm going to give it FD00 com column 2 as the second one that is the subnet prefix automatically and the DNS would be FD00 column 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 1 okay because that other server is my DNS server so now go for OK and then OK as well alright guys so if I have another PC I can as well give it the third IP the fourth continuously but now how do I know that these two PCs can actually communicate alright guys so right here I'm going to ping my PC1 okay I want to pick the version 6 so I'll go for ping dash 6 okay and then I'll go like DC1 because that's the name of the PC when I press enter guys you realize that I'm getting a reply from the server but it's giving me the link local address which is um, default given by default when your system support an IP version 6 it's automatically gives an IP to itself that is how version 6 works but um what if we want to communicate based on the IP we use so I, I can easily say ping okay FD00 column column 1 okay guys you realize that I'm getting a, a, a reply from that um, computer which is my DC1 via the IP address alright so that means there's communication between this PC and the other computer okay guys you realize that the ping is working meaning there's communication so currently I would like to remove control to that computer I'll go for remote okay I want to remove desktop to the other PC okay guys so I would like to connect to the other computer so I would have to type the address which is the address we gave I've connected before so I have the domain name and the username so let's connect remotely to see okay so it's acting to provide the credentials to connect to that PC so I'm going to provide my credential I realize it's connecting to that PC we gave the IP address to earlier all right so just have to accept this okay guys so we are in okay as you can see as you can see we have here the IPv6 address of the PC we are connected to okay and this shows the DNS console of 
the DC one, like I said earlier, it's a domain network. Okay. So going back there, you can go to the tools, DNS. Okay, so right here I have uh, the details of this particular PC. Realize that it has an IP version 4 address and now our version 6 address. Okay, it's been given a type of uh, IPv6 host, host, which is the quadruple A. Then we have um, the FD001 address. We realize that um, our double column has been substituted with all zeros. Okay, just that is um, the traditional way the version 6 address works. So I believe you understand perfectly how to use this now. And uh, I'm going to see you in a different video.